What's up combatants? Today we're going to take a look at all of those Mortal Kombat characters who never made it to the games. This video was voted on by you, the fans, so I wanted to shout out a big thank you to everyone who voted. And if the video you voted for didn't get picked, don't worry, I have the rest in the pipeline. The way I see it, there are three different types of characters who never made it to the games. Concept characters, rumored characters, and joke or hoax characters. And we'll be taking a look at examples of these throughout this entire video. Concept characters are characters who didn't appear in the final game, but have been seen in concept art or teased by Midway, Netherrealm, or a gaming publication. These characters are often cut due to time constraints, or they go on to become completely different characters once the game is released. In some circumstances, they are added to a future game release. Rumored characters are characters that are rumored to be in the game after the game's release. Sometimes they turn up as a secret character or make their official appearance later in the series. Joke and hoax characters are characters that were teased by Midway, Netherrealm, or a gaming publication, often as an April Fool's joke. Sometimes they do go on to become real characters. Now let's set some ground rules for the video. I will only be looking at concept, rumored, or joke hoax characters in this video. I won't be looking at any cameo characters or side characters that appear in offshoot games. I also won't be looking at any fan-created characters or any characters that appear in any other MK media, like movies, comics, shows, etc. If I were to do this, the video would run way longer than I would like. These characters are simply characters who have been proposed or rumored and have not made any appearance in-game, or went on to show up in a later game with a completely different design, or just become someone completely different. Now before I jump in, if you like learning more about Mortal Kombat lore and story, then I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel MK Temple, and click on the bell to get notifications anytime I post a new video. I'm also trying to build out the MK Temple community with the MK Temple Discord channel. Right now it's still small, but it is growing. You can find a link to the Discord in the description below. Now with that out of the way, let's jump in. Mortal Kombat 1's initial character list looked a lot different from what we got in-game. The rumored first character to be created was Michael Grimm. Grimm was modeled after Jean-Claude Van Damme's character in Bloodsport, and Van Damme was initially supposed to star in the game as the character. Eventually Michael Grimm went on to become Johnny Cage, and Grimm wasn't the only character to get a name or design change. Yoshihitsune Miyamoto was an early concept for Liu Kang. I'm glad they made the name change, because that name is a mouthful to say. A character named Rokoro was initially pitched as the sub-boss. He even had a biography. Rokoro belonged to a race of demon warriors called the Rokoro Kubi, Demons of the Dark. Reputed to be savage barbarians, Rokoro will use this misrepresentation against his opponents. He will use the tournament to restore the pride and respect of his race. Rokoro was eventually scrapped for a big brute with four arms named Gongoro. As you might have guessed, Gongoro got his name shortened to become just Goro. Curtis Stryker appeared as a skeptic archetype in the initial character list. He was ultimately scrapped and possibly replaced by Sonya, probably to include a female character to the roster. We finally saw Stryker make his appearance in Mortal Kombat 3. Shang Lao eventually saw his name change to Shang Tsung, and Kitsune was an early concept for Katana. John Tobias's concept notes showed that she was possibly going to be a background character. Later in the series, her name was changed to Katana as she made her first appearance in Mortal Kombat 2. After the original Mortal Kombat's release, it saw much success. Tons of rumors about the game would spread through the gaming community and through the arcades and even in gaming publications. The most notorious rumor being Ermac. Ermac was rumored to be a glitch character. According to the legend, Scorpion would appear red and his nameplate would read Error Macro, Ermac for short. The glitch was even reported on by Electronic Gaming Monthly, but was later proven to be false. Ermac was officially introduced in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And before we move on into Mortal Kombat 2, here's a throwback for those ancient Mortal Kombat fans such as myself. I'm talking about Nimbus Terrafo. Nimbus Terrafo was a gag character created by Electronic Gaming Monthly for April Fool's Day. He was rumored to be an African-American kickboxer with what appears to be a backflip decapitation fatality. His last name translates to fake earth or fake land, so they weren't really trying to hide anything with this. Mortal Kombat 2 also had its fair share of concept and rumored characters. Kentaro's original design was very silly. He kind of looked like Tony the Tiger on steroids. Kentaro was originally going to be a playable character, however, it proved to be too difficult to create a detailed fur-lined costume to be used when recording the sprites. So Midway revamped him into the four-armed Shokan that we know today. They gave him a kind of tigerish design though, keeping him connected to his initial look. Baraka also went through a serious design change. Initially, he was depicted as a bald ninja who carried hook swords. And I'm glad they made the change. 
Kathy Long was a concept character based off of a real-life kickboxer with the same name. John Tobias admired her and thought her to be a noble person. She was eventually dropped due to time constraints. Hydro is a member of the Lin Kuei clan and friend of Kwai Liang. He appeared in the non-canon MK comics, and while I said I wasn't going to dive into these comics because there are just too many characters that would need to be included into the list, Hydro does stand out just a little. He actually gets a mention in Mortal Kombat 11 for a consumable, suggesting that he may actually be a canon character. Hydro wears the same blue outfit that Sub-Zero wears, and his powers are similar to Rain's, where he can emit blasts of water. Since we already have Sub-Zero and Rain, I don't think there is a need to add Hydro to any of the future games. Mortal Kombat 2 had its fair share of rumored characters as well, with three of them being Scarlet, Red Robin, and Emerald. Scarlet was basically the same rumored glitch that Ermac was from MK1, except this time it was Katana turning red. Red Robin was a supposed red-clad palette swap version of Reptile, and Emerald was a supposed light green palette swap version of Melina. Of the three, Scarlet was the most popular and the only one to become an actual character, being DLC in Mortal Kombat 9 and added to the full roster in Mortal Kombat 11. As for joke characters, a Kano transformation was put into the game's audit system to spread rumors of Kano being playable or Shang Tsung transforming into him. They also redid this in Mortal Kombat 3 with Johnny Cage transformations, however both of these have been debunked. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 finally saw a joke character actually make the roster with Rain. Rain was initially put in the arcade's attract mode to spread rumors of him being a secret character. Rain wasn't actually in the arcade version of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 though. After becoming increasingly popular due to this, he later joined the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 roster when it was ported for console versions. Aqua was another joke character in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, rumored to be a black and yellow duck-themed palette swap of MK1 Scorpion. Yes, you heard that correctly. He's basically a black-clad ninja with a duck bill on his face. Aqua was the product of yet another gaming magazine gag. Aqua has gained a lot of popularity as a joke character since, and has had also a ton of fan art and even a fan fiction backstory. Pedro was another joke character rumored to be in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. He was a culturally insensitive Mexican palette swap of Striker. He was rumored to have the ability to fart fire as an attack. Ironically, the fire fart would later be given to Bo Raicho as a fatality in Mortal Kombat Deception. <laughs> It's a stinky one. It is rumored that Tremor might have been a concept character for Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and it appears that his bio may have accidentally made its way into the player manual for the N64 version of Trilogy. Rain's bio in the manual doesn't exactly fit his canon story, and it also looks like Ermac is the model next to the bio. If we look at Ermac's bio, we see an orange, brownish ninja instead of the red one. Could Rain's bio have been meant for Tremor? That's the theory. Tremor did make an appearance some years later in Mortal Kombat Special Forces, and then made his core series appearance as DLC in Mortal Kombat X. Here's how Rain's bio reads in the N64 game manual for Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Rain is an assassin working freelance. He was once a member of the Ling Kuei along with Sub-Zero, but left the clan under mysterious circumstances. Years later, Rain is found working for Shao Kahn as an assassin in the Outworld. Born a human, he finds himself questioning his loyalty towards Khan after watching the invasion of Earth. Like I said, it doesn't really fit Rain's backstory, so this could have been meant for Tremor, or this could have initially been meant for Rain, until they changed the story and went with a different lore. Tremor wins. Mortal Kombat Gold gave us one concept character that fans are still asking for today, and his name is Belak. Belak was a character originally removed from Mortal Kombat Gold. According to Ed Boon, the team working on MK Gold didn't have time to finish the character, which led to him being scrapped. Despite this, the developer of MK Gold, Eurocom, accidentally shared images of the game, which included Balak. Six screenshots of Balak were released to the public, which resulted in fans thinking he was a secret character in the game. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance was the first MK game where you could actually unlock concept art via the crypt. This gave fans a behind the scenes look at some of the characters that didn't make the cut, and some of the characters who had name or design changes. For example, Kenshi was originally known as Blind Kenshi. Mavado had an L in his name, making him Malvado, and Su Hao went by a completely different name, Kublai Khan. Blaze had a completely different design, making him look more like an anime villain instead of an elemental. The Ronin Samurai Dairu was initially proposed for Deadly Alliance, but we didn't get his proper inclusion until Mortal Kombat Deception. 
And then there were a ton of scrapped concept character art that could be found in the crypt, and they included Baphomet, a Netherrealm demon who belonged to a race of elder demons. He is named in reference to the actual Baphomet, whose legacy is spread throughout a history of satanic and demonic cults. Baphomet is also the description of the Goat's Head pentagram seen being used by the Knights Templar and the Church of Satan. It is thought that he may have been scrapped from the game to avoid any controversy. Hatchiman, another scrapped character from MKDA, is shown wearing a kendo mask and carrying a stick. His name is based on a Japanese deity of war. Tiamat is reptilian in appearance. The name Tiamat comes from the primordial goddess of the sea, sometimes being identified with a dragon or a sea serpent. Tiamat's design was later applied to Reptile in Deadly Alliance. The Evil Masters were a fighting clan that might have aided Shang Tsung and Quan Chi during Deadly Alliance. Ultimately though, they were scrapped as well, with no backstory. Deadly Alliance had several other characters that were considered for the game, including Evil Sumo, Sioban, and a bunch of unnamed character designs. None of these characters were given any lore or backstory. There was one joke character from Deadly Alliance that really stood out, Zebron. Zebron is a tall anthropomorphic zebra who sports a tuxedo and carries a cane. Zebron showed up on Ed Boon's official website as a joke for fans eagerly awaiting news about Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. His concept art made it to the crypt with an actual backstory for the character. Zebron is a prince of the Zebraman race, whom he led to freedom as they chanted, Viva Zebron! I doubt we'll see him make an appearance in any Mortal Kombat game. And then with the release of Mortal Kombat Deception, we only got a handful of concept characters. There was a strange concept art for Noob Cybot slash Havoc. He's not a new character, but I felt like I should mention this. Havoc's design was originally considered for Noob Cybot. So much so that they even created a render for him with the Noob name. This was eventually scrapped and changed to Havoc, and Noob was also included in the game as a sub-boss with Smoke. The Crypt also gave us the Undead General. He is an ancient, high-ranking officer of the Dragon King's army. He had an elaborate backstory which is as follows. The Undead General was a proud Outworlder who was among the soldiers and the royal holy men loyal to Outworld's first ruler, Onaga the Dragon King. Serving under him, the man was promoted to general and continued performing military services, leading Onaga's empire, and bringing order to all realms explored and conquered in the name of the Dragon King. His home, Outworld, was already a unified realm and a glorious kingdom all because Onaga himself. Until one day, the king's former advisor Shao Kahn poisons him and seizes the throne of Outworld for himself. The general sworn retribution against the usurper for killing his master and stealing the throne. He then took part in the ritual mass suicide pact of the army following the Dragon King's funeral within his tomb. He and the rest of the soldiers are waiting for the day their king returns and uses his power to awaken them, reclaiming Outworld and restoring the realm to its former glory. Now we'll jump into the new timeline of games. The new timeline of games doesn't have nearly as many rumored or scrapped concept characters as the OG timeline. Or maybe it does, but none of them really just came to light. In fact, there is only one character that comes to mind in Mortal Kombat X, and he's actually an Ed Boon joke turned fan creation. I know I wasn't going to take a look at fan created characters, but this one has gained a lot of popularity, so why not? I'm talking about Chrome. Chrome is a fan-made Mortal Kombat character that derived from an accidental paint job for a Smoke Mortal Kombat character figure. The figure appeared too metallic and shiny for Smoke, so fans started calling him Chrome, and since then, the name has taken off. Fans believe Chrome to have metallic powers similar to that of Terminator 2's T-1000. Now we'll take a quick look at Mortal Kombat 11. During Mortal Kombat 11's active days, there were numerous leaked DLC characters, some of which turned out to be true, and some of which never saw the light of day. The most notorious of them was Evil Dead's Ash Williams, whose name and legal jargon appeared at the bottom of the combat pack promotions. However, the deal may have fallen through as we never got him as DLC. Several other characters were rumored for DLC, none of which were new to the fighting franchise though. Among them were guest characters Deathstroke and Michael Myers, and returning characters Takeda, Sector, Cyrax, Serena, Havoc, and Smoke. None of these characters made it to MK11 DLC. Hey, thanks for watching my video. That'll do it for us today. Let me know which of these characters you would like to see in a future Mortal Kombat game. And if I missed any rumored characters, please feel free to leave it in the comments section below. I will do my best to reply. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a great deal to me if you could give it a big thumbs up. And if you like learning more about Mortal Kombat lore and story, then head on over to my channel MK Temple and subscribe. Please click the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. With that, I'll welcome your comments below with any videos you'd like to see me create in the future. And again, use the link in the description to join the Discord community. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.